Hello everyone. In this Python tutorial, we are going to create a program that mimics the rolling of dice and specifically the probability of rolling snake eyes. A roll of two ones on a pair of six-sided dice is called snake eyes. The probability of rolling snake eyes is 1 in 36 or approximately 2.77 percent. Here we have an image that shows you all of the combinations of rolling dice and you can see there's 36 combinations and of those 36 combinations one of them gives you snake eyes right here so let's go ahead and type out the code to mimic the rolling of dice and the probability of rolling snake eyes and then we'll come back and we will explain the code Okay, let's go ahead and go over our code now. So the first thing we did is we imported the random module, and the random module is needed to help us create or simulate the random rolls of the dice used here. Then we created two variables, a total count variable that will serve as a starter point for a running total of all of the rolls of the dice. Then we created a variable called range num which we're going to put into our for loop that determines the number of times we're going to run our test of sorts. And the test is the number of times that we're going to roll the dice until we get two ones or snake eyes. Then we created a while loop and the while loop will run until the criteria is met, which is again the two ones or what you can call snake eyes. Then we used our total count variable as a running total to count the total number of times that we simulate the roll of the dice. And then next we created our die or dice one and die or dice two to simulate the random rolls of a pair of six sided dice. So we used our random module and then we used the ran int with the one and the six for die one and the same thing for die two. Then we created a print to display all of the roles and you'll see all of that here in just a second and then once we have met our criteria which is two ones rolled at the same time we use an if statement to break out of the loop okay next we have some prints to display some count information so once we run this you'll see that we'll be able to see the for loop numbers and what we're going to do is we're going to run this program a few times and we're going to change this range number and the larger this number becomes the closer we'll get to the 1 in 36 probability. This next print just simply displays the total count of dice rolls. This print here puts a space between each time through the for loop and then finally we have our probability numbers. And this print statement here will give us the chance of probability as a fraction or a ratio and then this last print statement will display the probability as a percentage. So let's go ahead and try and run this and see what we get. Okay, so we ran the program, and you can see a little bit of the output here, but let's make this larger. And you can see all of the dice rolls here. Here we have die 1 or dice 1 and die 2 or dice 2 with each corresponding number that came up when the dice was rolled. And then once we get here and you see a new line, you can see this is the first time through the for loop and that's labeled with a number one and the total count of dice rolls and this will be a running total okay so let's scroll down through this and you can see here's loop two again the running total and we'll go all the way down to the bottom and you can see once we get to the bottom that this ran ten times and the total number of dice rolls is displayed here with this number and you can see the probability or chance ratio is 1 out of 28 and 3.5 percent. Now we know that the actual chance or probability ratio is 1 out of 36, 
or 2.7% approximately. So to make this more accurate, as we mentioned before, let's go back to our program and we can make this number here larger. So let's make this 100. Let's close this and then run this again. Okay, so you can see we're already getting closer. Now the ratio is 1 out of 39 and the percentage is 2.6. Let's make that number even bigger and see if we can get to 1 out of 36 and somewhere around 2.7. Let's run it again. Okay, now we're really close, 1 out of 37 and 2.7. Let's run it one more time and see if we can get 1 out of 36. Okay, so we got 1 out of 36, approximately 2.8%, which is pretty close. So that is all we have for this tutorial on how to create code to simulate the role of dice. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.